welcome to my fashion analysis for the traditional wedding between Aquimum gospel musician Moses Gleese and his beautiful Ghanaian bride Mary Weisborn that held on Thursday the 29th of February in Accra, Ghana. Congratulations to the super cute couple. Your home is already blessed. The hand of God shall not depart from you and yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Yo, I tussled so hard with the idea of filming this video. I did not want to jump on it. Then again, you all were not letting me <laughs> breathe at all. My DMs with pictures, people sending me messages, telling me you have to talk about it, you have to talk about it. If you can recall, that's if you're a returnee. At the beginning of this year, I mentioned that I want to um, base my fashion roles mainly on events that have a theme. But this was too good to pass, and I'm glad I finally endorsed. <laughs> my returnees already know this, but for my newbies, let me reiterate. For events that have no theme, I judge based, or I rate based on fit, style, and color combination. Just yeah, so without further ado, let's delve right into the reason why you are watching this. Chantel's fashion rules of Moses and Mary Bliss's wedding. Kicking things off with the couple's first look, Mary in this blue and peach straight cut kente dress with a zigzag neckline, cap sleeves and crisscross tie back corset detailing by Ikpen. The dress also has this gorgeous embossed glitter applique design going on around her midriff and tassel, this tassel mimicking blue string beads at the back. Such a rich fabric, style is modest and minimal, fits her like a glove, silver stud earrings, bangles, and wristwatch for jewelry, nude pumps with gold G emblem for footwear. She finished off the look with this peach stone encrusted hand fan. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the bride styled her own hair in a bun with tendrils in front. This accentuates her face. It's neat, it suits her perfectly. Understated elegance is what I would describe this look as. She did not have to infuse our trending style, our trendy makeup looks, but it still gave. I'm rating her an 8 out of 10 for this look. Be fitting for welcoming the guests and in-laws, if you ask me. Next is Moses wearing the Aquari Bomb traditional groom attire that consists of a red and silver judge fabric styled as a wrapper, which the Aquari Bomb people call the Usobo with a chieftain white shirt. The shirt has a mandarin collar with pleated details. Fabric sourcing, outfit and styling was courtesy May 8th gallery. Um, accessories include chunky coral bead set, gold neck stud, a textured sailor looking black cap with red and gold trimmings that is synonymous with FE grooms. Walking stick, wristwatch, and these black mules that look like the Gucci Princeton um, backless loafer. They all added glamour to the look. I will rate Moses an 8 out of 10 for this. The bride changed into this rich burgundy and metallic gold dress with impeccable details. Stone chantilly lace, raw silk, intricately placed crystal appliques, the quality of this outfit is top tier. Ipen did her thing with it. The fit accentuates Marie's figure and the style is classy. My only reservation with this look is the scarf. It's a no-no from me. <laughs> I can bet that it wasn't tied by a Nigerian. But if by any chance it was, I just want to tell him or her that you could have done better. What in the name of a vintage daily style is this? What happened to her hairline pickings? What happened to round gilly? Nah, uh, mm -mm. The dainty white double layered necklace and earring added more glamour to the look, as well as her customized full four gold hand fan with Mrs. Bliss inscribed on it. I'll rate this look an 8.5 out of 10. This was easily a 9 out of 10 type of look for me, but that hair tie took away 0.5 and I'm not having it. That, that, no, 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 no. That hair tie, it was. I don't, I don't, I don't, maybe probably they were in a hurry, but I mean, maybe they would have just opted for an auto gilly instead. Next is the couple's kente drape or dansikra regal look. Dansikra look is a traditional way of wrapping the kente cloth for a special location, aka Moses and Mary's wedding. Underneath the kente, Mary has on the white 
lace known as Atete. Moses was adorned in gold. It's giving royalty. It's giving luxury. Marie, on the other hand, was decked out with a bunch of ahenema beads on her head, neck, and wrists. If there's one thing I love about Ghana, is the Kente fabric. I researched deeper and realized that each Kente color has a strong symbol attached to it. Green represents fertility, growth, renewal, fresh beginning, while blue represents love, peace, harmony, white, purity, spirituality, yellow, royalty, fertility, prosperity, red symbolizes passion, energy, spiritual connection, while gold represents wealth, glory, purple on the other hand represents royalty, sophistication, wealth, and lastly, pink symbolizes love, compassion, playfulness. This explains why the Akente has virtually all the colors. Maybe so in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Moses also accessorized with a black velvet cap with gold embroidery, sunglasses, and his wristwatch. I really love this look. I love the story behind it. They both get a 10 out of 10 from me for this amazing Ghanaian traditional look. Next is the bright spot look. This simple and sophisticated orangey pink mermaid hem dress. It kind of mirrors her first look, but this is an elevated fashion if you ask me. Hand beaded to the T, cap sleeves, keyhole back, corset. It also has an interesting mismatched detail on the bust area that is highlighted by these cute embossed button looking thingies that you can see there and on the waistline. The whole of the dress is plattered with faultless complex details, I should add. <laughs> a lot of people were of the opinion that she looked so simple. As someone who is an unpaid ambassador for all things classy, all things elegant, and all things minimal, I'm here to tell you that you are wrong. Aside that, <laughs> Ghanaian brides, saved or not, often opt for simple but luxurious looks on their big day. Just Google it and you see what I'm talking about. If they let you in on how much they spend on these outfits, you open your mouth in amazement, you'll be in awe. Quiet luxury is the perfect description of this look. She doesn't wear wigs, she likes barely their makeup, that's okay. It doesn't take away from how flawless and beautiful she looked that day. Fit on her was phenomenal, she opted for dainty jewelry to give the outfit more room to shine. I'm totally here for this look. The details are insane, they are mind-blowing. She easily gets a 10 from me for this particular look. I love it that much. The couple brought it home to Nigeria with their last look. Mary in this burgundy judge fabric on your -yo dress, complete with the etenge, which is the elaborate beaded wig adorned with brass combs. Lastly is the traditional marriage staff. Did you all know that the Effie custom bans brides from having excess makeup? Hence her makeup-free face here, I guess. So for all those saying, mm, maybe because she's, in quote, spirit cocoa, that's why she's not doing makeup. Here's your reason why. Moses in the full Effie groom regalia, burgundy usobo to match Mary's on your yo dress, white long line shirt, a black embroidered jacket that matches his custom slipper, the distinct hat, and this long piece of cloth around his neck called the Okompomon. 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 Forgive my pronunciation, please. <laughs> Not forgetting the studs, which in my opinion wasn't needed. The Okompomon already complemented the look well, and his walking stick did as well. Um, this is such a beautiful and lavish traditional look. 9 out of 10 from me for this. Moving over to a few guests and actually be wearers at the Forever Bliss Traditional Union. Sourced by May 8th Gallery, the Ashwebi color of the day was a mix of burnt orange judge fabric and white cotton shirt for the men. For women, a brighter hue of orange on an off-white background. First, the Ashwebi Mandem, channeling the epic look, clad in a burnt orange usobo white shirt, the cap, the opompomon, and walking stick. To tie the outfit together, they all wore black lace-up dress shoes and had on sunglasses. Some even went the extra mile by accessorizing with a bag. As you can see, I like it so much, I will collectively rate them an 8 out of 10. 
for her well the food of this week. The first Ashwabi lady I'll be rating her outfit is Anita Asoha, aka Real Worry Peking. She showed up looking great in Medlin Couture collection. I've never really liked orange, but the vibrancy of this Ashebi is making me have a change of heart. It's really nice. Anita opted for a straight cut dress with all the party at the top. Chantilly lays underneath these triple structured things, aeroplane sleeves as I like to call it. <laughs> I realized that this sleeve is now synonymous with Nigerians are trying to let you know who they are like do you know who i am type of thing do you know where i'm from do you know my who, who this is that's what i feel like this sleeves now is synonymous with that's what it represents so to speak do i like it nah does it matter that i don't like it of course no <laughs> clearly <laughs> avant-garde style gele by adufe gele um makeup by tolu felix mua they all look nice. Overall, Anita looks hot, hot. The dress is a perfect fit. She gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. Layole Oyatogun in another variant of the helicopter sleeve by BKS Lagos. Straight dress with sleeves at the back, square neckline, pleated voluminous sleeves, piping details on the bodies as well as stones and faux pearls. Gold chandelier earrings, gold ring and wristwatch for jewelry. Demure makeup look by Ohema's makeover and bridal affair for the really cute gilly style. Putwa of choice is a gold belly bear sandal. The dress fits Lyoli like a glove. She gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. Anna Iberi wearing a Nello Woman creation. Strapless asymmetric neckline straight cut dress with hand beaded work on the bodies. Smoked out orange lead and nude lippy makeup courtesy glow with Lillian. Gold finish for jewelry, orange footwear to match, and green pores for contrast. An elegant look, I should add. This deserves a good 7.5 out of 10 as well. The Ateres came through in black and gold. Vicky in Vicky James, of course. And Femi in Vicky James Man, of course. <laughs> Vicky's dress is a mix of Mikado. Mikado, I think. Or is, or is this raw silk? It's, it's looking like Mikado. And lace. V-neck, statement sleeves, hand beaded and stoned on the bodies. Rouge lace, or would I say pleated, to give the wrapper effect. It just, it has the voluminous thing on the side. Gold footwear, auto gele by Chai Gele, custom hand fan by Lux Extra, airdrop coral set by Luidio, gold strappy sandals and matching paws from Sinkai. I rate her an 8 out of 10 for how well she looks. Alban Femi in a black kaftan underneath a velvet abada with gold embroidery. Complete with velvet shoes, double layered gold beads, coral beads with matching bangle from Luigi. Extra accessories include a black cap and sunglasses. Femi gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. The gorgeous Henny Thompson next wearing... Vicky James Official, a green and white corset dress with applique panels and decorative stones. Drapings on both sides of her waist. She looks exquisite. Fit is great as well. Chunky coral jewelry from TM Owambe Collection sits well on her and suits the outfit. Metallic green Otto Gele by Otto Gele Ara by Dunis is super cute. Bagged by AA Boo is nice, but a smaller purse would have looked better in my opinion. Riri Makeovers, GH hates the makeup. It looks so good. That orange lippy complements Henny's skin tone so well. Henny deserves an 8 out of 10 for her look to the hashtag Forever Bleeds noob shows. Dr. Romel. Dr. Romel Romel. <laughs> Serve texture and shades of nude in this brocade abada with cord lace shirt underneath neckline of the abada is beaded as well as the front which also has some cut out flower appliques brown croc finish boots for footwear orange fx statement cap rubber strap wristwatch and studs for earrings a seven out of ten is befitting for this look yes to culminate this section is Eniolua looking dapper in this fit styled by emmanuel good news I wouldn't call this an abada, neither will I call it a dashiki. I would, in terms of description, I would say this is a cropped white trouser or shokoto, as my Yoruba people would call it. One underneath a kaftan style shirt, 
On top of the shirt is a tunic with orange motif. Lastly is a cape draped over the tunic. Apparently, he let go of the tunic and replaced it with brown beads for more statement, which I prefer. The Ashwabi cap, gold ring, gold bangles, brown bracelet, and brown stone encrusted loafers for footwear elevated the look as well. Um, I would rate Elni an 8 out of 10 for this. The manual styling prowess shone through with this one. I must commend him. All right, best and worst dress categories. Of course, best dress has to be the bride and groom. There's no contest. It's not even up for debate at this point. <laughs> My favorite of the bunch being the Kenji twin look. I love the story behind it. I love the richness. I love the opulence that it gives. It's so, 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 so cute. Love it. What's dressed? Nobody falls under that category, in my opinion, to be honest. Everybody came with their best foot forward. Everybody served fashion in some way. And I can't even see anybody that falls under that category in this episode of Fashion Rose. But over to you watching. If you have a worst dress, let me know in the comment section. If you have a best dress as well, leave them in the comment section. All right? You all know how we do it. You know how we do it. You know the drill. So do the thing. Fucking with my hands. I love my new nails. <laughs> Congratulations again to the newlyweds. I shall be back with the white wedding rose in a couple of days. But I want to make sure that you people want it. So if you want it, leave a yes, Y-E-S in the comment section. And if you don't care for it, leave a no in the comment section. The response that takes hierarchy will be the one I'll go with. So it's over to you. If you want to watch, let me know. If you don't want to watch, I'll keep it moving. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not yet a Tabel Nation family member. It's important that you do so because we have a lot of fun here. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get all my notifications. Give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and leave a comment in the comment section. You all know that I like to engage with you. I really, that's one of the highlights, actually. For those who don't know, that's one of the highlights of me putting up a video. I just like to respond to comments, read your comments, love the comments, and all. Oh, until I come your way again next time, don't forget to stay amazing. Mwah! Bye, y'all!